What was the first animal to walk on land? That is an interesting question. And the truth is, we honestly don't know. We'll likely never know for sure, purely because of, well, we, we have to go off fossil remains here. It's kind of hard to exactly narrow down which animal would have been first in some cases. I mean, we weren't, we weren't there. We, we don't know which one put their finny fin fin right on that beach. Which one did it first. But the truth is, it probably wasn't even a fish. Yeah, seriously. Fish were probably not the first ones to get on land. Though, when it comes to that specific example, the earliest known would be Ichthyostega, which is a genus of limbed tetrapodomorphs from the late Devonian. The genus contains maybe four different species. One is questionable, but there's at least three, and these would have been among the earliest four limbed vertebrates. And paleontologists are pretty convinced that this one in particular is the earliest one that we're aware of that had weight-bearing adaptations for terrestrial locomotion. They also possess, like, lungs, so they could breathe. They're sometimes referred to as early amphibians, but they don't exactly fit that definition. They were similar, very, very similar, but not a true member of the group, as the first proper amphibians wouldn't appear until the Triassic period, and they would have spent most of their time in the water. They would not have been well suited for staying on land too long. For one thing, their hind limbs were actually smaller than their forelimbs, and probably couldn't actually bear the full weight. And they possessed broad overlapping ribs that would have inhibited them from moving side to side effectively. The forelimbs could, in theory, push the body up and forward, allowing these creatures to drag themselves across flat land in a similar manner to a seal. But it wouldn't have been able to walk on all fours. But they are an early example of a creature that was indeed capable of walking on land, but they weren't the only one. Doubtless, some of you are perhaps aware of the fact that the ancient oceans contain GIANT SCORPIONS! Indeed, giant scorpions are some of the oldest arthropods, and one of them, known as Perioscorpio venator, is believed to possibly also be one of the earliest arthropods to have walked on land. They've been reclassified multiple times since their discovery, they've been referred to as arachnids, crustaceans, and, well, arthropods. Right now, they're kind of considered arthropods. Regardless of that, though, Periscorpio contains only one species, Venator, and it's believed they would have been one of the earliest ones to walk on land. Now, scientists admit they don't have any unambiguous evidence that Venator could be on land at all, but the species had the capability to breathe on land, as we have preserved remains showing their internal structure. We know they could do it. And if they could do it, they probably did do it at some point. When, how, and why is up for debate and speculation, but scientists are pretty convinced that they would have also been able to do this. In terms of which one was first, well, it was Venator, simply because they were older. They existed all the way back in Silurian, 443.8 million years ago. And as I said, Ichthyostega is from late Devonian, after them. But both are critical points of evolution for complex organisms over the course of our planet's history. They were among the first to walk on land, which is a pretty major adaptation that would set the stage for the future of the world in general. So they both deserve some level of credit in that regard. And with that, a special thank you goes to my apex predators, Dr. Racer78, Battle for Life Guy, and Arthur Roy. Till next time, this is Darkness, and I bid you all a fun farewell.